Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful time. So today I am in one of the most vibrant places in Bangkok, where lots of people visited only after sunset because of the street food. But today I am here at daytime to show you lots of things that you cannot see it at nighttime, especially the old buildings, the vibrant action, the hidden valleys, also the markets, and moreover, one of the biggest wholesale and retail market that is located in Chinatown, where you can buy anything for so cheap prices. So it will be a very interesting vlog. Let's walk and talk. Now, if you are wondering how you can access this place, it's so easy to reach. You have just to take MRT, which is the underground train, to Wat Mangkon Station, and you can enjoy everything you are seeing in this vlog. So first of all, I'm gonna show you one of the hidden, narrow, crowded market that is located before Samping Market. And if you walk directly from here, you can access to Samping Market, which is the main market I'm gonna show you today. And the reason for that is, it's the cheapest wholesale retail market located in Chinatown. So this is the main entrance of this narrow, fresh market. And as you see from the picture, it's so crowded and narrow. You have to be very careful while you are walking here. It's recommended that you come here before 3 p.m. because the action is more lively from 12 till 3. But if you are an early bird, you can come early as much as you can they open from 5 a.m so this is one of the hidden fresh markets located in chinatown and if you walk directly from here you can reach something market where we are going to explore it today so let me show you a little bit around before we continue our today's walk You have to be very careful while you are walking in this market. As you see from the pictures, we were there. So once you are crossing from one side of the market to the other, you have to be very careful because lots of crazy cars and tuk-tuks. And as I said, this area is vibrant. A lot of people, the action is always on. So be careful while you are walking. Here we are into another narrow valley and I hope you are enjoying these lively pictures from Bangkok. All right, guys, that was an idea about this fresh market. Now, as you see from the pictures, that's the main entrance of Sampeng Market. So let me give you an idea that this closed market is located just opposite to Sampeng Market. You can access it from the main entrance near Wat Mangkon Station and check this market before you head to the main market, which is Sampeng Market. We're gonna try to cross to the opposite side and as usual, you have to be very careful while you are walking in this area. It's so vibrant, so crowded and one of the craziest things are the motorbikes and the tuk-tuks. So if you wanna buy big fruits, premium quality, fresh. This is the place at the beginning of Sampeng Market. But of course, the prices are not that much cheap, but the quality is premium. Now we are entering the main market of Sampeng. And from here, I'm gonna show you the biggest wholesale retail market, which is the cheapest in Bangkok. Of course, you know about Pratunam, Chatuchak, but this market is different. It's located in Chinatown and it's the cheapest. So let's go explore around, give you an idea about the prices. After that, we are not going to end the vlog. I have also another surprise to show you some hidden valleys that you can check it only. Another motorbike that you can check it and enjoy it only at daytime. So let us start showing you around guys and comparing the prices of this market to other markets in Bangkok. As you see from the pictures, there are lots of places that they sell wholesale items, but you can buy in retail, so no worries. But if you are buying in bulk, of course, you are going to pay very low and affordable prices. 
Now again, it's very narrow and crowded and you have to be very careful guys while you are shopping in this market. But this is one of the beautiful things. But be careful of your backpacks, your valuable items. But till now I have visited this market many times and nothing bad happened to me. Now along the market you have small shops that they also sell wholesale and retail items, especially concerning fashion items. As you see, the prices are very low. And as I said, if you buy in bulk, you will save a lot of money. And one of the things that I'm seeing that this market is famous for fashion accessories, also stationery and bags. So those are the three things that we realized till now. A lot of shops that they sell fashion accessories and stationery and bags. Of course, the masks and sanitizers are nowadays trending everywhere you go. Here you have another shop that sells masks, 10 pieces, 150 baht, and different colors. I'm using them in Thailand and they are so good quality. Again and again, stationery, fashion accessories, bags. Till now, those are the shops and the items that we are catching in today's vlog. The prices, I hope you are seeing it from the pictures, I don't have to mention it. Until now what we see that the range of the prices are from 10 till 150 baht. Well, motorbikes are everywhere, street food also. This is Bangkok, here you have 25 baht. And always if you buy the items in bulk, you will save a lot. So most of the items in this shop are 20, 25 or 50 baht. So guys, the market is so huge. So if you are exhausted, and the sun, the heat, this is Bangkok. You can stop and enjoy some refreshments, some food before you continue exploring the market. Here we are into another section of this market. So the market is divided into many sections. You have to cross the main road from one place into another. You have to be very careful. And as I said, if you are tired, if you are exhausted, it's so hot, stop, eat something, have some refreshment and you can continue exploring the market as we are doing. Now let's see what we have in this section. The first section was fashion accessories, bags, stationery. And now in this section, let's check what are the unique items. So after four sections of this market, you can access to the walking street, which is called Klong Ong Ang Canal Walking Street. This is famous walking street, but especially at nighttime after sunset. So this is located at the end of Sampeng Market. But you can access this walking street and eat some street food after exploring all the sections of Sampeng Market.
so now we are heading to the third part of today's vlog which I will show you some buildings that you can explore while you are here at daytime and they are so old people live in these buildings and if you are here at daytime you can see them so those buildings as you see they are very old and located in Chinatown lots of people live here but that is not the main thing that I am going to show you now we are going to enter a valley where you are going to see a very old building that uh, people live inside and the situation of the building is very miserable this is the entrance I have made a vlog about these places but if you want to check them in details you can check the vlog that I have uploaded before and this is the building actually guys people live in this building and you can see how miserable is the situation uh, look at this this is one of the main entrances of this building I am not going up of course definitely but this is one of the main entrances of the building and you have uh, lots of markets around but this place usually tourists don't come because people visit these areas after sunset and these places are not accessible at night time this is another valley around this building so I'm trying to show you a little bit what are the things that you can check if you like of course once you are exploring this area at daytime let us go inside this market and see the building from the backside look at here guys this is part of the building and this fresh market is located behind this building well I think this is the behind the scene of Chinatown and these places are all in action day and night to prepare food but if you are here you can explore this old valleys and it's not so hard to find this place because it's just next to MRT Wat Mankon so people actually live in these buildings and maybe also they work around Well, that was our today's vlog. As you saw, we have started from a hidden, narrow, fresh market before something market. You can come and explore that fresh market. It's so lively. After that, we have covered something market, one of the biggest, one of the biggest wholesale and retail market in Chinatown, Yawarat. Along the way, you saw also the walking street, which is Hong Ang walking street. And that walking street is usually alive after sunset and our third part was about these old buildings that some of them are so miserable and people live there trying to make a life so i hope you enjoyed this vlog the idea was that to visit this place at daytime i know lots of you have visited this place at nighttime to enjoy street food but hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and if you like it put it in your schedule and enjoy everything you saw in today's vlog so thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.